Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus and check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 as well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today. Back on Madden NFL 19 Giants franchise as I'm sure many of you guys are excited as I am. But in typical uh, me fashion, I got some things to say. Things to get out of the way before we really start this video. One, I am very sick. I'm very, very sick right now. Uh, I just got back from TwitchCon. I know everyone was asking about Giants franchise. I was in San Jose, so couldn't really uh, record, upload, or post as often as I wanted to, especially with Giants franchises that I didn't record before leaving. And uh, I am, I guess, sick now that I'm back from it. So that sucks a lot. If it doesn't sound like it, it's because I've learned to be able to speak with a completely stuffed up nose because my nose is stuffed all the time. I guess a lot of you guys wouldn't know this, but when I was a junior in high school, I took a pitch to the face playing baseball in a game and that really screwed up my face. And I'm finally getting surgery on that. That's going to be the 15th of November in case you guys want to... Uh, I don't know, watch? I don't know how that would work. But, um, yeah, happy about that. So, if I don't sound different, I can assure you, um, I definitely am sick. I feel as bad as I've felt in a long time. And, uh, if I don't see my chipper, energetic, exciting self, that's why. I know you guys all don't think I'm a robot, obviously. But, on to Giants franchise notes. Less about me. I'm sure you guys care a lot, but... More so about Giants franchise, as always, I'd love to talk about some of the comments I received over the uh, time that I've been gone on the off-season video, and maybe we can talk about uh, some things you guys might have an issue with with this off-season. All right, so people were really upset that I didn't sign Deshaun Watson, and I signed uh, Patrick Mahomes instead, and I have Kyle Oletta still penciled in as the starter. We'll talk about that for a minute. Also, Kyle Oletta... Almost ran over a cop today as I record this. So, that's interesting. Can we give him, like, the bad boy development trait? Anyway, he does have star. And his ratings are decent. I talked about him and I said, like, a quote people had a field day with was, Is Deshaun Watson really that much better than Kyle Lalletta? Me mocking myself sounds odd, but I'm really mocking the comments. Mocking myself in the comments? Whatever. So, just remember these attributes. 94 throw power, 82 deep accuracy, 89 medium, 85 short. Let's head over to my favorite player in the NFL, as I'm sure you guys know. I'm being sarcastic. Deshaun Watson. Let's check him out. Ew. Bill's quarterback, Deshaun Watson. He has 82 deep accuracy, 93 throw power, 96 medium, 96 short. Somebody said he had 92 deep accuracy in the comments. I'm like, are you out of your mind? How do you misread that? I don't know. Um, if you guys can find me at any point in Giants franchise, and it wouldn't even be relevant like far away ago because he got much better attributes, over the entire past season of Kyle Letter overthrowing or missing something short or medium distance while uh, you know in a clean pocket, I would be extremely happy to see it because it has never happened. The only thing that Kyle has missed has been deep. And Deshaun Watson and Kyle Lilletta have the exact same deep accuracy. And Deshaun Watson has less throw power. So, I'm not going to go out and pay Deshaun Watson $20 million per year to have the same medium and short in-game, because there are thresholds, if you guys didn't know for it and those things, and then the same deep accuracy and overthrow the same passes. And then everyone in the comments, well, I guess Deshaun Watson wasn't the guy. It's like, clearly not. Clearly. He is faster. He is more of a mobile quarterback, which I do like. For the series, I was not going to pay him, you know, $100 million over four years to be the starter. It just was not going to happen. Or five, whatever the contract would have been. And... This might be one of the last seasons of Giants franchise. I think a lot of you are probably coming to that conclusion. Uh, some people think it's over already, but no, we are definitely doing season four, which is this one. Just like it made no sense to uh, sign Deshaun Watson. The reason I signed Patrick Mahomes to be the backup, he's only an 81 overall normal development in this. 
The reason I signed Patrick Mahomes is because we needed a backup quarterback. We needed a good one. And if Kyle Aletta performs poorly again this year, we have another option. That's why I signed Patrick Mahomes. I felt like for the sake of the franchise series, you know, because first and foremost, it's for entertainment. Uh, it made the most sense to sign Patrick Mahomes, a decent starter, potentially, if Kyle Aletta does not pan out, which I hope he will, because he isn't bad. He has good throw power. His accuracy is pretty good. It's just awareness is low and break sack is low. He's getting better. Star development is big. I like that. Defensively, people were upset that I signed Cameron Jordan because I talked about, you know, not bringing back Olivier Vernon because he was old. Well, Olivier Vernon was an 86 overall, right? Cam Jordan is a 93. He will be a 94 at some point in this season. I can guarantee that. And even though he is 32, what's the worst that would happen to Cameron Jordan? He regresses to a 90 at the end of this season. All right, he's still would be four overall higher than Olivier Vernon. And he regresses again the next season if there is one. He goes to an 87. Still would be around the same as Olivier Vernon. And he's way better right now. We're in win-now mode. Cam Jordan made the most sense. Also signed a bunch of backups. Hassan Reddick, Raekwon McMillan. Drafted Kent Raymond in the first round if you guys missed that. Sidney Jones to be a backup. Potentially moving to that starting role if Jalen Mills is upsetting me per usual. And then offensively, I also signed Keenan Allen. People were wondering about Keenan Allen. Like, he's 30, even though he is 29. He's a 95 overall. Like, (laughs) it makes total sense to do that. The thing with Keenan Allen is a lot of people wanted me to give him 13. I'm like, are you out of your mind? We're going to strip Odell and give Keenan Allen 13. I think 19 is a really good number for Keenan Allen. Uh, I wonder what he wore at Cal. It might have been... Might have been also 13. 19 is probably what it's going to be. I'm going to check what he wore at Cal, though. He wore a 21 at Cal. Well, I can guarantee you that that's not happening. I'm not giving a receiver 21. I could give him the reverse of that, which is 12. I kind of like 11. Ends in a 1. We're going to give Keenan Allen 11. That's his new number for the entire season. Not changing. Is there anything else people were whining about? Um, Someone wanted... Uh, Derwin James, superstar development back, which I agree with, but I'm just not going to do it. He went from superstar to star to quick, even though he just won defensive back of the year. He was incredible. He like was so good. DB of the year, made his second Pro Bowl, and he's like, nah, minus all the way down to quick development. Absolutely ridiculous. I am not going to change it, though. I think EA needs to fix it um, for next year. Right now, we're just going to keep it the way it is. This will at least shed some light on it. Yeah, somebody commented, yep, 78 deep accuracy is way better than 90. Are you talking about Patrick Mahomes? Does he have 78? He has He has 78. Uh, Deshaun Watson has 82, so not 90. That was pretty much it. I know I've like kind of ranted for a while, but I wanted to address everything. I hope you guys don't think I was being rude to you. Uh, and if you think I was, I don't know, like I could give you some of the tissues I've been using if you want. Um, but Kyle Aletta, as he continues to get better, I'm not going to go out and try to replace him necessarily, even though he sacked 65 times last year. Oh my God. Is that a record? How many times was David Carr sacked his rookie season? We'll check out that out before we start. We have the Redskins in week one. 4,600 yards passing, 35 touchdowns, 24 picks is obviously a lot. How many of those interceptions are bad decisions by me? Uh, probably a lot. But he's getting better every year for the most part. And how do you expect somebody to, you know, to compete at such a high level when they're getting sacked 65 times? Sliders were weird last year for a little bit. I think uh, with the title updates and everything, EA's kind of gotten it pretty good. But week one, it's a primetime game against the Washington Redskins. We are a sick team, 95 overall. I hope this season will be an absolute breeze. And uh, should we come out in any special uniforms? I don't think so. Opening night, we got, you know, our home opener, our season opener. That's what rocked the uh, giant blues. I'm down. All right, David Carr was sacked 76 times in 2002. Randall Cunningham was sacked 72 times in 1986. That was number two all time. David Carr again in 2005, 68. And then Kyle Aletta with last season would slip in right at number four. 
being sacked 65 times in the 2020 season. We have a good offensive line. I don't know what the issue is. This year should be better. Here we go. Giants, Redskins. This should be a good one. There's our guy, Kyle. Everyone hates Kyle, dude. <laughs> Not everyone. Like, I feel like the comments are pretty split. We have a lot of people talking about how bad Kyle is. I don't think he's that terrible. I mean, he's got decent numbers. Just the interception totals are too high. Let me know in the comments section below if you're Team Kyle or Team, like, anti-Kyle. But uh, we'll have to see how that plays out. Actually, what I'll try to do, I won't remember, but if I can leave two comments, I'm going to do one pro-Kyle and another one anti-Kyle. Thumbs up whichever one you feel. The opening kick of the 2021 season, and we are underway. Back to receive is Kiaho. Was checking him out earlier on the roster. His name's like Darius something. He's actually their starting running back, and he's a 73 overall. So that's pretty cool. I must have misread it. It's actually Darius Geis is their starter. As it is play action and pressure comes in hot. That is number 97. Lawrence Thomas. The new LT? I don't know. We have so many good backups and so much good depth as Darius Geis takes a shot. That's Dalvin Tomlinson. But we have so many good backups, so much depth, so many fantastic starters. I really don't think we should have a difficult game all season. But, of course, as you guys have seen in this series, things never go to plan. And Kiaho, what are you doing? This is absolutely ridiculous. I think I'm losing my voice a little bit. Darius Kiaho, or whatever his name is. Breaks two tackles, spins out another, and picks up the first down on third and long. Here's Kent Raymond in the game. We have him in a lot of different packages. As he will make his first tackle. No, he won't because he's making a great cover play, ripping out the football. Oh, no. Geis has an open lane. He's down at the one. Come on, man. We can't let Darius Geis get going. We're screwed if that happens. That's a great sack. Cameron Jordan. There are some open guys in the end zone. Smith scrambling, throwing end zone. Touchdown. Unbelievable. I want to believe he only got one foot down. There will be a booth review. Off scoring plays are reviewed. This one... Oh, it's really hard to tell. Did that knee come down? Because then the two feet thing won't matter. No, I don't think it did. Did he drag the right toe? That's such a bad angle. I really don't know. This could I think it could go either way. I don't know if they're overturning it, though. And they are not. Washington going to open up this drive with a touchdown. It will absolutely be the Saquon show here in New York this season. As uh, now with Saquon Barkley back and healthy. Should look to have a fantastic year. Again, but like things never in this series uh, go to plan. So we'll have to see. And uh, yeah, I don't really... I don't really know what happened there. That's a bad sack to take. Third and 16, looking for a first down. And... Maybe finding it. It's Keenan Allen with his first catch as a New York Giant. And he is still going down the sideline. Breaking tackles. Unbelievable from Keenan Allen. Nearly a 50-yard gain. And that's what he will bring to the table. As a member of the Big Blue Wrecking Crew. Back again. Let's go. Michael one-on-one -on -one here. Evan Ingram. Back of the end zone. Caught on the bounce. Bobble. Tip out of bounds. No. Here we go, Saquon. That's a good block. Howard Russell contributing in any way that he can now that he has uh, been taking away a lot of time with the addition of Keenan Allen. This was maybe going to be the year he finally came into his own as he showed off some good stuff at the end of last year, but it seems like it's been too little too late for, uh, for Howard Russell a little bit. That's not where I meant to throw, but Keenan Allen does it anyway. He makes the catch. Meant to go to Saquon Barkley in the flat. Accidentally hit triangle instead of R1. And it results in a touchdown. 
unbelievable. Seven all. First and ten. Here's another run. And Darius, guys, has some room. Espinoza. No one can wrap up, guys. Unbelievable. He's still going. He is a good player, I think. Oh, Dalvin, that would have been a great play. It really does look like they face scan him in the game finally. He looks a lot different than we've seen him for the rest of the entire series. I don't know, though. We'll have to check it out after the game. We got Lorenzo Carter back in the game. It's an outside handoff. Guys breaking tackles. Spinning out Derwin James. And Darius Geis might be the best running back of all time, it looks like. Geis in motion. What are they setting up for here? I don't know. And we found out. Not in the way that I would have liked to. It's going to be another touchdown for Washington. They started out both their drives with touchdowns. Nick Boyle. We were in man coverage and he just was wide open. Wide open. I don't know if I've ever seen this play in the playbook after four seasons of running it. And that's the, that's a long release from Kyle uh, Laletta. I really didn't care for that very much. We had an open receiver. Instead, we take a Cleo Max sack. Something is... Uh, his wife can attest to. Third and 13. He, I don't think he's married. Whatever. We're going to throw that. Evan Ingram can't hold on. Coverage was really, really good down the field. Pressure was starting to get in. And that's not a good way to uh, answer a Washington score. It just isn't. Oh, and I am not usering well. It's been a while. Can somebody tackle him? Can somebody get in the area? Alex Smith airs it out, goes downfield for the first time in his career. And they are back to just about in the red zone. It's a great tackle in the backfield by the safety linebacker hybrid out of Texas, Julius Manning, now second year player. And he fills his role really, really well. The addition of Derwin James obviously hurt his uh, would be playing time, but he's played really, really well. Derwin James has played really well. I mean, everyone's just been phenomenal. Can somebody get to him? Dalvin Tomlinson, finally. Somebody picks up the sack. Unbelievable. That was so close to being so bad for us. He just stopped. That would have been an easy first down, if not more. We're going deep for Odell. Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh, wow. I didn't like, I didn't like what happened there with Odell. People are going to be very upset about the overthrown deep ball. I'm upset about it. I really am. But 82 deep accuracy is 82 deep accuracy, whether it says Loletta on the back or Deshaun Watson on the back. So, sucks to suck, I guess, as we're down 17-7 to the Redskins. We're in 95 overall, dude. Going out to the flat. It's Kiaho, and Espinosa brings him down. That is a huge tackle. Washington likely will punt fourth and three from the 41 fourth and three. I don't know if I would punt in this spot It depends probably with a 10-point cushion you would punt, but I want to see teams get more aggressive Laletta rolling out We're gonna throw that actually Laletta on the move for Keenan Allen who's continuing his big day He might be wide receiver one right now. He sure is playing like it That's, that's just a bad decision. I really expected a Keller Witherspoon to not play it like that. And uh, he did. He continued to drift over the sideline. Thought that'd be wide open. My my bad. My bad. Can't afford mistakes like that when you're down in a football game. So that was the first half of action. And we have been outplayed, I feel, I feel like, pretty badly. I don't like it. We gotta have a big second half. It's gotta be huge. Huge. Come on, Saquon. There we go. One guy to beat. Can't do it. Not really. I mean, like, there were there was another guy. McKenzie makes a tackle, but Saquon, balling. That's wide open. Maybe had Evan Ingram. I think it's a safer throw to Odell. As Kyle Oletta can throw short, as long as my idiot self isn't throwing straight to defensive backs again. Here we go. I like this one-on-one -on -one matchup. 
Uh, no, a lot of fumbles. You gotta be I'm getting so unlucky this game. It's unbelievable. These turnovers are killing me. I hate the sack fumble. The strip sack. Wow. Smith rolling out, throwing. Wide open. Wide open to Angulo. Is that man coverage right there, Morris Dubose? He has like 90-something man. He was on the other side of the field. Smith throwing. Open for Angulo. Oh, man. I'm trying to contain my uh, frustration, and it's not... I don't think it's working. There it is. Nope. Unbelievable. What is happening? <laughs> oh, man. That's open to the sideline. Julius Manning wraps up at least. Uh, we need to get the football back. Very badly. No touchdown defense. No touchdowns. To run. And I believe he stopped just short. Fourth and inches. Washington will line up for the field goal. Kick is... It's not up yet, still. Who is it? Taking Viagra? Got the kick up. Come on. There we go. It's up. And good. Third and 17 after a sack. I'm going to have to go max protect here. Take a shot. We're going to pass lead inside for Ingram. It is uh, off his hands and intercepted by DJ Swearinger. Swearinger. I am... Uh, I want to throw up. It's not just because I'm sick. Run up the middle. Please, man. Help me out. Do something. We are getting annihilated. This team is a 95 overall. 99 defense. 97 offense. They play like they just got out of high school. Smith going to run. Wrap him up. Field goal is good. We got to we got to get on the board here. We're going deep down the field. Laletta in stride for Odell. That's a great throw deep. We needed that one. Ingram, that's a touchdown. Oh, you want to catch it this time? That's great. We're going for two. Barkley time. Right through him. It's a ball game. Let's play some defense for the first time all game. Second and 12. Time for anyone to make a play. It's a run. And it is a stop by DuBose. Collins helped out. How, how is that not a, a user pick? Easy reads. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Smith bitch. It is officially comeback season. Wow, what a great start to comeback season. We go to Sanders. That's the game. Uh, D San is that Deion Sanders playing cornerback? God. Third and six. It's a run. Someone get off the block. Wow. That's a great tackle on third and goal. To at least keep it alive somewhat, maybe. 26 to 15 now. There's still a chance, at least. That's open. Sterling Shepard. Uh, we need to get out of bounds there. We need to get out of bounds. That's also open. On the money for Shepard. That's the way you get down the field. Laletta, please, white lightning. Really, that's not a touchdown. Third and goal, Beckham. Wow. Our fourth and goal. We're doing what we should have done two plays ago. Run the ball to Saquon Barkley. Touchdown, get out of the way. 
Get out of the way. We're going for two. Make it a field goal game. Barkley up the middle. Two-point conversion is good. And it's orange justice. Disgusting. Here's why we're kicking it deep. We have three timeouts. That's why. James, get to the outside. Okay, that's a yikers. We made the stop. We'll be third down and five. Four, six, stop the run at all costs. Cover two. Let's go, baby. Turnover would be great at right around now. Raymond, the rookie, makes the biggest play of his career. Granted, he's played like four quarters of action at this point, but that is a huge stop to force a punt. Keep our hopes alive. All right, here we go. It's Laletta time. And that starts with Odell Beckham Jr. Evan Ingram now. We need to make use of our uh, of our time. Might want to spike the ball here pretty soon, but I mean, a sack ends the game. It doesn't, but it would hurt a lot. Got to keep going over the middle. We're going to have to spike the ball. Get to the line. Come on. S snap it. Thank you. We're going deep. Keenan Allen, please. That's defensive pass interference. That's pass interference. That's DPI. Oh my goodness. We're going to have the ball on the two. Second and goal. It's a fake. It goes to Barkley. Oh my goodness. That was really bad to not score on that one. Oh my goodness. Third and goal. We're just going to throw a quick. It's complete to Odell Beckham Jr. on the slant. We take the lead. For what would be a walk-off touchdown. Oh my goodness. Nearly. Nearly a walk-off touchdown. Four seconds still on the clock. 30 to 26. In the most electric comeback of the series. What a start to season number four. Final play here. It's Kiaho, and he is Kia. He, that he's tackled. We're not. There's no joke there. Oh my God! What a win! What a way to start season four. Laletta annoyed me. Three interceptions obviously sucks, but then again, game-winning drive, 332 yards passing. The interceptions were annoying. We should have given the ball more to Saquon Barkley. Started out, and then we just kind of didn't. Playing behind and run the ball is a tough thing to do. Keenan Allen, what a beast in his debut. Touchdowns for he, Evan Ingram, and Odell. And then defensively, we got uh, almost no pressure at all. A sack from Cam Jordan and uh, Dalvin Thomas, that was it. Interceptions for zero Giants. Of course, no forced fumbles. No defensive touchdowns. But that is pretty much going to do it for me. We're going to check out Dalvin Tomlinson. We outscored the Redskins 23-6 to in the fourth quarter. That is so crazy. Upgrade for Cameron Jordan. And uh, where do we want to put that into? It's going to be... We're going in the scheme fit. 94 overall for the 32-year-old. 30, Not too bad. Tell me they face scan him in the game. Come on. They did it. All right. I like that. Welcome to, uh, hopefully more relevance, Dalvin. I like that. Upgrade point for Espinosa in the Axe episode as we take on the Rams. But I really need to stop talking. My voice is killing me. Hope you guys enjoyed the pain I went through in order to make this video. But that will do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. No!